Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing all right. My name is Katie, if you're new, and I mostly do subscription box unboxings, so things like skincare and makeup, but also other stuff, you know, lifestyle, stationery, stickers, anything you could get on a uh, set timely basis, mostly monthly, but as we'll see today, also other time intervals. So if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to check out my other videos, see if you like them. You can subscribe if you want. It's a little early for that, but you never know. Otherwise, you can just check back in on Sundays and Wednesdays, because that's when I post. So, let's get into what we're doing today. We've got a big one. We've got the Cosbox for Winter 2021 is what they're calling it. Winter's a weird season. It spans a few years. What do you call it? The subscription box world is divided. Cosbox is deciding to call this the 2021 box. They called last winter's 2020. I'm just going with what they say. If you agree with it, let me know. If you don't, also let me know. I'd love to hear the discourse on this. Um, so let's get into it. If you're unfamiliar with Cosbox, it is quarterly, as I said, so four times a year. Lifestyle box, so you expect maybe a clothing item, you know, a candle, sometimes skincare, that's a, you know, lifestyle. Things to help you live your life. It is $50 a quarter if you subscribe seasonally. If you subscribe annually, it's a little bit cheaper, but you pay all up front. There's usually, um, there's usually a deal out there. There's usually, sometimes there are intro boxes, which are $25, but for less stuff, I think those are usually pretty good deals, actually. So check, check around to see if there's a deal before taking the plunge. The benefit of being an annual member is you get to choose which items you get. There's choice categories, similar to something like FabFitFun. Um, and if you're seasonal, you don't get to choose anything. It's all random. And previously, that was maybe not as big of a deal. But as the box keeps going, the differences between the choice items are becoming very different. So depending on who you are or just what luck you have, your box could look very different depending. So that's just something to keep in mind. Something to think about. Um, I'm an annual member, so I did choose everything in here, but I'll mention what the different choices could have been as we go along. So let's get into it. Here we go. Um, it's I like the artwork. The artwork is always got my knife. Um, the artwork's always really good. Alright, so here we go. There's something on the top. <laughs> gonna fall off but you got the whole box right in there and then it looks great let me open the paper just a minute all right paper has been opened hopefully there won't be too much weird paper crinkly noise because I know that's not great for a lot of people um so it comes with a little pamphlet which is what I'll be reading from to talk about the different choice items it's great because it talks about like the process of the box how each item is made um, Cosbox is a box I tend to like, well, I'll talk about, like, let me say the context first. Um, the items that tend to be in here are, us are usually ethically sourced. They're made by fair, repaid workers. They're produced by fair trade organizations. They support women working, things like that, which is why I like a box like this, maybe over FabFitFun. I recognize it's all, like, everything's a selling point, right? But uh, I feel I feel like their items tend to be a little bit more ethically sourced than some random stuff you see in other boxes, but what does that mean? I don't know. I fell for it. So let's talk about the items. First up, you could have chosen for choice number one, the between a, a Thread and Supply Cozy Cloud Wrap, which was a like cardigan situation made out of recycled plastic water bottles, very cool, and that had a $115 value, or you could have chosen what I chosen, which was the Rosen Fitzgerald Brushed Gold Kettle, retail for $98. So let's take a look at what I chose, which, as I said, was the kettle. So here's the box it came in, and I'll be right back with this open. All right, so we've opened the box. Let's look at the kettle. Here it is. All right, here we go. So this is what it looks like compared to my head. So nice size, good decent size, I think, a little small. Um, so they say retail value 98. Um, here's a good look at it. This little thing is like loose. 
So I'll have to see if I can screw that in a little bit better. And I don't know, like this little part is maybe got like some staining right here in the welding. Uh, so looking at it, let me say why I chose this. I already have a kettle that I use and it's good and I like it. So I wasn't really planning to use this as a kettle anyway because I already have one, but I didn't want the cardigan because it looks like not the best shape for my body. I have my torso is like 800 times longer than my legs. My legs are two inches long and cardigans that hit like right below the hip just make me feel even longer. So I didn't want it. Um, no, but it looks, it looks cozy. It looks cute. Just not the best fit for me. And also only one size. Uh, that's usually, I think you could have gotten different sizes if you emailed them. And usually, one size is usually an issue for me, but I don't know. It was so itchy. It's the glasses. Um, but it's just something to note. There's Sizing can sometimes be an issue in boxes like these. Which I don't think is totally cool. It's not, not it's zero percent cool. So it's just something to be aware of that sizing is weird. So maybe you had to choose the kettle. And if you did, let me know. Because that's uh, one to take tally. But anyway, I chose the kettle because I think it might look cute, like hung up up there somewhere instead of, no, it's not, yeah, here it is. Instead of this lining Klugel bottle, I think this might look better than that. But maybe not. I don't know. That's, am I this type of vibe person? We'll see. I'll try it out. Look in the background. Let me know if it fits. But this, there is some staining here, and um, this lid is hard to get. I don't know. But I would have maybe felt a little weird drinking tea out of this. I don't know. Let me know. It kind of looks like the staining. Maybe looks like it could. It looks not stained, just like liquid. It kind of looks like if you've ever welded anything. It kind of looks like maybe just like leftover. Like flux or whatever that material is from welding. I don't know. I haven't welded in like 12 years. I've never been. It was high school. Okay. So I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to like clout my way into the welding world here. But I don't know. So $98. I understand that this was made by hand and that definitely I understand the value that comes from that and from making sure that everyone's paid fairly. But I don't know. This kind of is like not the most clean in terms of like how it's been cut. I think this can be fixed though, that loose little screw. Anyway, here we go. We have a kettle. I'm feeling like six out of 10 on this. It is pretty though in the camera. It's a nice, nice brushed gold stainless steel. So let me know, did you get the kettle? Did yours have kind of like weird Maybe not like highest quality situations for you. Let me know. But it looks pretty from far away. I'm excited about this long thin spout because I think this little guy, my roughly one, um, he, she, they, are really hard to water because their leaves spread out and you don't want to water on top of the leaves because it's not super great for them. You want to water under. I think this would maybe like be easier to get under. We'll see. A tea kettle's hard to make. It's a uh, it's um an interesting situation in terms of choosing the right ergonomics in terms of like handle, angle of the spout. Where does the spout connect to the body? How does that affect how water pours out? I'm interested to test it out. It's a it's a fun design problem, a tea kettle. I'm interested to see how they've solved it there. So anyway, that's item number one. Off to a start. Let's go to item number two. All right, next item up, you could have chosen between the activated eco reusable silicone baking sheets valued at $18, and I think that was a set of three, and then you could have also chosen the Boon Supply reusable zip pouches. I chose the reusable zip pouches. And you get one, two, three, four, five of them. They are, as I said, reusable. It looks like they are, let me show you the little symbols on the back. Looks like they're freezer safe. Looks like they're BPA free. It looks like they might be hand wash only, uh, which is okay. I'm fine with that. I think these might be weird in the um, dishwasher anyway. Like how would you make sure the inside's clean? Um, there's a good range of sizes. I like this little small one. You also get like a big one that's got 
that shape to it but also these like kind of flat ones I think these would be great in the freezer I'm excited about these these are definitely like an 8 out of 10 for me I didn't choose the baking sheets because I already have some but uh, so, so these I'm excited to see how they work I'm always like storing stuff trying to limit my plastic usage plastic is a thing of the past you're living in the past you're using plastic I don't know also like live your life however you can the majority of pollution comes from corporations so you know do what you can but please be realistic with the personal responsibility you take you know we can only we can only handle handle ourselves and that's my opinion on plastic usage that being said i do carry around a metal straw so you know what can we do what can we do besides our best nothing all right so there we go that's Choice item number two, and I am excited about this choice. This one's cute. I don't know. Little snacks, like nuts in here or something. Excited. For whenever we go to work again, right? I'm going in once a week, but I don't take my lunch because I don't want to eat in my office. I also don't want to eat in the lunchroom. So just, just toughing it out. Um, all right, next up we have... This item was not a choice item, so that means everyone got it. It is the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Face Toner, created in the Mediterranean, vegan and cruelty-free, $30 value. So, a lot of thoughts on this. Thought number one is uh, the second ingredient after water is witch hazel, which is not my jam, so I'm probably going to give this away, which is fine. I just generally think that skincare should maybe be a choice item, but I understand that skincare also has like some of the highest profit margins, so it's a really easy way to make the value of a box larger without necessarily adding to how much Cosbox pays to make these boxes. Um, so it's just probably what's going to happen. Um, and then two, I don't really get how, like I get how the kettle is employing people with fair wages in a place that's usually not a fair wagey. Well, that's not a great way to say that. It's artisans made in... It doesn't tell me. I'm making that up. And then the cloud wrap, the cardigans made from recycled plastic, things like that. I understand the, the vibe there, the message there, but I don't... This is just made in it. Like, it's vegan and cruelty-free, so I get that. But a lot of skincare is. I don't think that's, like, enough, if that makes sense. So I don't know, I'm, I have weird feelings about this, and I don't know why. Do you guys have weird feelings about this? Let me know. Um, maybe maybe I'm being a little too weird about like the relationship to Cosbox's message. But I definitely think skincare should be a choice item. But anyway, everyone got this. I'll probably give this away. I don't think it's a bad product. I'm not like bagging on the product. Um, not even bagging on Witch Hazel, I understand what it's doing, but um. It looks pretty. I think a lot of people really like this, actually. I think this is a, a skincare product people enjoy. So, but anyway, that's like if I'm neutral on that. That's like a 5 out of 10. So, so far we've got a 6, we've got an 8, now we've got a 5. Let me know what you think. Alright, next up we have a choice item. I think the toner is the only non-choice item in this box, which just goes to show you how different this box can look. Next up, the choice was between the True True Moringa Rejuvenating Body Polish, $34 value, Sanctuary Project Thick Gold Hoops, $38 value, or the Zeal Living Marble Geo Coaster Set, which is a set of four, I think, for a $42 value. And I chose the Sanctuary Project Thick Gold Hoops. So I'm excited about these because the Sanctuary Project um, is a project that I like the message of. It goes directly to providing, I'm going to put these in so you can see. It provides support and job opportunity to survivors of trafficking, violence, and addiction, which I think is ooh, a great project. I think a lot of... Um, a lot of shelters just focus on like the immediate needs of people. Um, like that, which is also great, but I think having a place that focuses on like the next steps as well is really important. So I'm excited about that. 
Okay, so here they are. Let me know what you think. I actually think these are really cute. They feel like good quality, a little heavy, but not uncomfortable. You know, that nice, like, oh, I have earrings on, but my ears aren't dying. That nice middle ground. I think they're a good size. They match the kettle, which I love. Um, okay, actually, yeah, I'm excited about these. Another 8 out of 10, I think, here. Maybe even 9. Yeah, we'll, we'll up it to 9. 9 out of 10, because I like the cause. There we go. And the other things looked great, too. I just don't need any more body scrubs. And I also don't need any more coasters. My partner went on, like, a coaster-making spree a few years ago, where he made a bunch out of wood. And they're really nice. They're cute little you know, wood coasters. Um, but now we just have a ton of those. And then I also made some where I... Yeah, I also made some, but they're not as nice. But we also have, we just have a lot of coasters, all homemade, who have been varying quality levels. So I didn't need these. Maybe one day when I have a house that's uh, filled with nice things. Oh, that's me. And by, they are nice things, just not marble coasters. Oh, where am I going? Where did I go? I don't know. So that's choice number four. Reviving these. I like it. Does gold suit me? Does silver suit me? I cannot tell. Cannot figure it out, so I just wear both at the same time and hope that one looks good and balances out the fact that the other may look bad. Alright, on to option number five. We've got a choice between Maggie's Organics Heathered Slouchy Socks, retail value 25, or the Etude, Etitude, Etitude, Etitude is a makeup company, Etitude, Travel Beauty Pillowcase. I chose the pillowcase. Um, so one, uh, why'd you choose a travel thing? You're not traveling. True, I'm not. But it'll be nice to have when I do. And then also, I just needed a new pillowcase. Um, here we go. Very, I like the color. Kind of a nice lavendery gray. Like a, like a London fog color. It feels really nice. Like bamboo. It's bamboo lycosel, 100% bamboo. Uh, it uses 98% of the water in the production cycle, so I'm excited. Um, so I know that some people are like, it's just one pillowcase. Like, why not two? Um, which I totally get. That's not really an issue for me um, because I don't know what type of vibe I give off, but uh, I'm not really like a matching pillowcase person. Uh, the way my bed's set up is there's there's pillows, like a lot, and they don't match. There's mat for, You start off with the mattress, and you have the fitted sheet. And whenever I get the fitted sheet, I just... The other sheet is gone. I mean, I don't throw it away, but it's not... It's in the closet. I don't use it. I don't tuck it in. There's no top comforter. There's just the fitted sheet, and then, like, five different blankets. And then the, the five different pillows. And then when you go to sleep, it's just... Whatever's whatever you grab, that's what happens. Um, so that's just that's the my bed situation, and I like it that way. Um, so a ma so the fact that there's no other matching pillowcase isn't something that concerns me or my uh, style of arranging a bed. And it felt really great. And it has a travel case if I so need, if I so desire. So I'm excited for that. The other thing, the socks looked really comfy. They looked really really cute and comfy. But I'm not like a, not a comfy sock person. I know, I know, I know, I know. But my my vibe is more. I just got for Christmas, and this is definitely way more my vibe. It's slippers, like actually good slippers with a sole, because I like to wear a shoe. I like a sole or nothing. So, so slouchy socks. I'm not gonna wear those with a slipper. That's too much. That's too much on my foot. But I'm also not just going to wear slouchy socks around because I shuffle. I'm a shuffler and socks just lead to cell fall down. So that's why I didn't pick them. They looked cute, but uh, got my feet situation already taken care of. So that was choice number two. Number five. I said I even held up a hand. All right, and on to final one. Number six. It was a choice. Beach Mean, the Idlewild Company Yearly Planner which had a really cute floral print. It looks really cool. And then also the Soon Skin Care Peony Foot Masks. And I chose the 
Soon skincare peony foot masks. The planner had a $32 value. These have a $45 value. It's a set of five. I did not choose the planner because uh, this I knew this would get to me. I got here sooner than I thought. I thought it would get to me in February, but it got to me in late January. So I just knew it wouldn't be. That's kind of just, yeah. Um, also, I make my own planners for, I go to, there's a Japanese kind of home goodsy store, not like home goods, not like the store home goods, but they sell home goods there, called Muji, and they have really great stationery and office supplies there for, I think, in my opinion, a very reasonable price. So they have these 30-page grid planners. They're not planners, they're just notebooks and they're grid lined and they have 30 pages and that's what I use and I can fit three months into them and still have plenty of space to plan and exist. So, and they're like two dollars each so for eight dollars I've got my whole year set up and it's fun to draw and I like it so I just didn't need a planner because I already have that area of my life figured out. Aren't I, aren't I an adult? If you want to see my planner let me know. It's mostly just drawings of sheet masks right now but so hey hey maybe that's interesting i'll put these in there so i chose these and these are uh soon as i said which i'm trying to figure out it's definitely let's get it right way up korean skincare inspired but i don't know if they're actually a korean company we'll see very pretty um, so you put these on your feet and you kind of like strap them and it's like a little booty of skin care stuff on your feet. So I'm really excited. I've never done one actually before and my feet definitely need it. Um, they're very um, they're rough right now. And they, usually, they usually are. So I'm excited about these. I'll report back. Maybe I'll do a little Instagram of them. And I'll let you know how they go. So there we go. That's it. Let's review. I feel like I stopped rating like halfway through. So we'll, we'll go through and we'll rate definitively. We've got first Kettle, brushed stainless steel. I'm giving this a six out of ten. Oh man, I'm looking it to seven. It just looks so. It is really pretty. We'll see how it does with watering the plants, and uh, I'll report back. It does look great. Might if you don't if you look past the little little this thing. All right, six seven out of ten. Six and a half. Next up, we have the plastic bags, giving these an 8 out of 10. Really excited. I think this is a uh, I like. I'm a, I'm a quantity over quality sometimes person. This is five things. Five things. I'm so excited. 8 out of 10. Next up, we have the toner, giving this a 5 out of 10, just neutral. Um, yeah. Probably give it away. That's okay. One thing out of a whole box. It's fine. Alright, then we have the Earrings, 9 out of 10. Very excited. Very happy with these. We have the pillowcase, 8 out of 10. Feels so good. Excited to see if it makes my life better. And then finally, we have the sheet masks, 9 out of 10. Really excited to use these. Hope they make my feet as beautiful as the rest of me. Um, Alright, so there we go. And as you can tell from the choices I listed out, this box could look totally different for a lot of different people. So let me know what you chose. How do you feel about the toner? Am I, am I just being weird here? It could totally be just me being weird. I'm excited to hear. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you've got. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Um, yeah, so that's a good cop. I think, I think that's a pretty good cause box. I think the winter theme is kind of there. Got some self-care. I think if I'd gotten the cozy socks or the cozy sweater, it definitely would have been more there. But, you know, you may make choices. Um, Alright, so if you liked the video, you can like it or not. You know, you can just like it in your heart. That's totally okay, too. I really actually appreciate you watching here. Thank you for doing that. So if you want to subscribe, you totally can. Um, everyone who has already, I actually really appreciate it. I think, like, more than half of the people subscribed now are not my family members. So thank you. Um, big mom, big moment. Um, and check back in Sundays and Wednesdays. You can check out my Instagram for a little bit of extra stuff uh, if that's interesting to you. I mostly do flat lays of the stuff I get and then also like check-ins on my skincare, see if I like it, you know, so you can see how things turned out, you know, where are they now. Um, so if that sounds interesting, check that out. 
Either way, have a good day, have a good night. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're handling the year all right so far, best as we all can. And with that, I'll see you later.